I, I don't yet understand the nature and cause of these proceedings. Do I have that right, sir? If you don't be quiet, I'm going to lock you up. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Appearance only under a full resignation. Well, first, right? Sure. You're here on a charge of failing to lie. You are also here improper passing. Uh -huh. You're also here for tinted windows, no insurance, uh -huh. no seatbelt. How do you plead to those charges, sir? Um, I'm here by special appearance to challenge the jurisdiction, and uh, furthermore, I don't understand the nature and cause of these proceedings, so I would like to ask a couple questions so I can properly be able to uh, handle this matter. Let's start again. Is this a traffic court and a criminal court? Okay. You have been charged by the police. As a result of the stop, you're innocent until proven guilty with having no seat of you're charged that as the result of the stop, you had no insurance. Now again, you're innocent from proven guilty, but I'm telling you what the police officer right. wrote the stop. Uh -huh. Okay. Then, according to the police officer, you had a tinted window in violation of New Jersey state law. That's right. three. Okay. And then, he also gave you a ticket for improper passing and careless driving, and all of this occurred on 12.05.09, which would be December the 5th, 09, at approximately 5.30 p.m. Uh, that's what the charge is. In the vicinity of Grace Street and Smith Street in the city of Fort Danboy, State of New Jersey. That's the charge. Okay. You're innocent until proven guilty. My next question is, do you have a lawyer, sir? Uh, no, I can speak for myself, sir. So, I'll enter the pleas of not guilty. Um, I didn't enter that voluntary. I don't understand the charges, sir. Uh, and I, well, I, well, do I have well, the right to understand the nature and cause of these proceedings? Sir. I, I don't yet understand the nature and cause of these proceedings. Do I have that right, sir? If you don't be quiet, I'm going to lock you up. Don't make a mockery out of my voice, or, or you're going to be going with the mm -hmm. other prisoners. I just explained the charges to you. I'm entering a not guilty plea. Not guilty is what I'm entering. I strongly urge you to advise you to get a lawyer. That's what I advise you. And, and but we're not, sir, my advice to you is I don't understand. keep quiet. I, I don't sir, understand, sir. Then maybe you should have a driver's mm -hmm. license. Maybe sit right down. Maybe I need to take your driver's license away. Send it down to Trenton if you're not confident to understand anything. Then you're not confident to drive at this point. I just have a couple questions. my vehicle. and cause of these proceedings. I have a couple questions. That's all. Three times 
this is a court. I told you I that you're that. innocent to prove you guilty, and I read the charges three times. Now I'm telling you that if you think that you can't understand this, and we have such a communication gap, then I don't think you should be on the road with your driver's license right now, and maybe I have an obligation to take it right now and send it to Trenton until I'm satisfied that you, not, that you don't have some sort of uh, neurological disconnect. Uh, Judge, I'm perfectly capable of driving. I just don't understand the nature of the charges. Not the charges themselves, the nature of the charges, to which I have a couple questions I would like to ask before I can properly defend myself at trial if it gets to that point. <clears throat> I don't mean to court any disrespect. I just have a couple How questions. How many do I have to read? At this point, you're making a mockery. Uh, that's not, that's not my attention. Do you want me to read the charges again? No seatbelt? You don't understand what a no seatbelt charge is? Mm -hmm. You don't understand sure. what a no uninsured charge is? I explained to you that you're innocent to prove guilty, and at the time of the stop, <coughs> the police officer asked for insurance, and for all, I'm, for all I know, you may be right, but you're innocent to prove guilty. But I it's a charge. It's no seatbelt, no insurance, Tinted windows, improper passing, and careless for the fourth time. Now, I, if there is such, and plus all the other stuff you wrote up. Now, if you have, um, do not understand where you are, or why you're here, or what's going on, but I'm, my, my problem is, with your driver's license, should I not take it, send it down for administrative review, down to Trenton? I'm fully capable of driving. You work, sir? Yes, I do. Where do you work? I work in Edison at Dr. So Leonard's, uh, selling uh, catalog products. I have a job. I commute every day. I just, I just don't understand the nature of these charges. Not, not the charges themselves. What, what the, I don't understand the nature of them, to which I have a couple questions, and right, that's all. Can I talk on that side for a minute? Look, I'm going to tell you one thing. I don't need the best. See, here's where you're, you're looking. I have to go to Woodbridge now. There's going to be another judge coming out of this bench. And I'm telling you right now, you better get yourself a lawyer, and you better prepare to defend yourself. What the decision I'm going to let Judge Leonard make is whether or not I should take your license. Because you, you're, you're really frightening me that you're, 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 there's such a, a neurological or problem with this kid. You shouldn't be behind a wheel. You shouldn't even be in shoes. No less behind a wheel. Well, I'm, I'm ready to lock him up. Trust found you not guilty. Right, but I have to understand the nature and cause of the proceedings against me. And to do that, you I got have a couple tickets. questions. Uninsured right. motorist, that means no, no insurance. Right. It, you got a seat, you got a no seat. Listen, you got a seat belt ticket. I, Yes. You understand that, right? You weren't wearing your seatbelt. I know what the tickets contain. Yes. Okay. I have questions about the nature. What do you mean the nature? I don't understand. The, the nature. The nature. I, I, I'm with him. Yeah, stand, stand over there. Stand over there. Stand over there. Stand over there. You're not allowed to witness? No. 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 Okay. I have questions about the proceedings, you know, so I can properly defend myself if it goes to trial. I just have simple then, questions. Then you just have want to, to answer those questions. questions. Number one, are these proceedings governed under admiralty equity or common law? Number two, are these traffic infractions a civil or criminal action? Number three, is there evidence of a complaining or damaged party? These are simple questions that I just want to ask the okay, judge. You know what, dude? He's being all in the side and need to get an attorney. I'll ask him. Which one was the first one? The first one, are these proceedings governed under... Uh, you're a police officer with... Uh, go ahead, Daniel. Ask me the questions. Are these proceedings governed under admiralty equity or the common law? Common. Common law, okay. Are these traffic infractions right. civil or right. criminal? Criminal. Okay. Well, traffic is not considered a criminal statute in the state of New Jersey. It's just criminal and traffic, so it's traffic only. There's it's that. no it's criminal it's record whatsoever. It's, it's a, it's, it's, traffic infractions fall under civil or criminal, so is it, is it civil or criminal action? Criminal. Criminal? Okay, so if it's a criminal action, are these charges in the nature of a breach of contract or is there a damaged party? The damaged the party, common, the damaged the party would be the state of New Jersey. Okay, is there evidence of a complaining or damaged party? Whoever the, uh, whoever the officer was who signed the complaint. The officer is the witness, correct? He's the one who signed the complaint. Right. So the is, he, is he the damaged party? The, the state is. The state okay. of New Jersey. If, if there is a damaged party, I would like to see the verified complaint signed under penalty of perjury. And if the state of New Jersey, correct, is the damaged party, right. 
uh, then I would like to see evidence of the existence of the damaged party. In other words, the evidence, not who the, the, the okay, complaint no, party is, no, but no, evidence no, I understand of what the you're existence saying. of such. And then I want these questions answered by the judge so I can properly defend myself. The judge here is governed by the administrative law judge in New Brunswick. Okay, but oh, wait, 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 I'm not done talking yet. For you to do that, you have to request a copy of you, a copy, no, a copy of the case proceedings here. Okay. When those proceedings are given to you, they are given to the head like judge of all the municipal court judges. Uh -huh. He is the one who reviews everything and he is the one that will be answering the questions to you the way you want to be answered. But to do that, it's, it's a complicated way to request those recordings and there's a fee. That's what the judge says, if you would, you know, the best way, which we tell everybody, if they want to get copies of the recordings, is to get an attorney, because there's a legal way to go about it. Why is the judge avoiding my question? Because he's the judge and he can't do that. So he's not bound by any anything except his own he's discretion? That's what, unfortunately, that's what they do. He has a boss, the judge that's going to hear the transcripts. Right. If he decides in your favor, you know, good for you. If he, the, if he, you know, complies with... How, much I, how would I be entitled to a fair hearing and a meaningful hearing if I can't get any answers to any questions? With how is that possible? With an attorney. With an attorney. Well, an attorney is an officer of the court yep. whose first duty Not is really, to the court. No, no, no. The attorney is the one you hire. Right, but an attorney is the officer of the court. That's the prosecutor. For a lay, for a lay, attorneys are licensed by the state to practice law. Is that correct? That's not correct. Nope. Not so much about the practice. Well, I, outside, this is in the courtroom, in the court uh -huh. building, there's just two. There's the judge, there's the prosecutor, and then there's the public defender. Those are the three people who are associated with the court. Every, everyone else is like a private attorney. Okay, so to be an attorney, do you have to get a, be a member of the bar association? I believe so. I have no knowledge Okay, so in other words, you have to be licensed by the I, state. I, that's, I don't have the knowledge for that. You have to contact okay. a lawyer. Okay, these are, these are questions. I mean, these, okay. I just, but he said, all your lawyers, lawyers, I mean, I'm just being reasonable. I just had a couple questions me. for the judge, and he's being, well, uh, he, he doesn't have very, to answer. He's very violent. He really doesn't yeah. have to answer. No, that's, he's, he's, he's like a very violent. The only other person that could uh, talk to you would be an attorney of your own. That, 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 that represents you and your interests. I, I can speak for myself. I won't be getting an attorney. That's up to you then, but, you know, now, since I wasn't in here, what did he say about your tickets? Were they dismissed, or what? Uh, he didn't say anything. Well, he just said he was telling me what I'm charged with. He wanted me to answer. I told him that I'm here by special appearance, which legally means I'm here to challenge the jurisdiction of the court. Okay. And I had a couple questions because I don't understand the charges. And I have the right to understand the nature and cause of these proceedings against me. Well, he, that's he, well, he, well, he said he explained it to you, so he, I got it. I got it. Well, I did, well I you didn't, didn't understand. Answer, I didn't ask any questions. Well, then, I didn't get my then you have to, well, like he said, your best bet is get an attorney represent you or if you can't afford one you know, public defender. Right, I, I will you. not be getting an attorney. All right, they don't. Then your matter is going to be rescheduled. So it's going to be rescheduled by another judge. Well, I don't know. You might be here, might be someone else. There's okay. three or four judges that work in Okay, because it'll probably be about three weeks. Okay, because the judge seems very violent. If you don't want to deal with him, I can have him reset for another judge if you want. I, another judge? I can get a judge. Okay, how would I go about getting a different judge? Nothing. Just go home and it'll be rescheduled for a different time. Okay, because so this judge seems to have some kind of personal. I don't know. Okay, okay, enough talking here. They got to talk to you, Bob. I'm gonna go down that way now. Go down this way. Go down that way now. Go for it. So okay, so this hearing here today is over. It's done. It's done. So it's, it's being rescheduled for about three or four weeks. And I will get something in the mail. Same address that's on the ticket. Is it with the same address you live at now? Is that for the Okay, and they're going to, do I have to request a different judge or will it automatically? I will take care of that. I will do that for me because this, this, he seems like a very violent individual um, and he's that's not that's willing to answer any reasonable questions that's that's that I have. That's 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 so I don't feel like I'm getting a fair and meaningful hearing. Then we'll give you another judge then. Okay. All right, that, that, that hopefully the next judge won't be as violent and, and vicious with me. That won't be a problem. Would you prefer a morning session or a night session? What's better for you? Um, preferably a night session. Okay. Preferably a night session. That would be possible. I mean, I mean, do, do I seem like a reasonable individual? You're, you're asking questions that I, I can't answer. I mean, from, from a personal perspective, do I seem like a reasonable individual? I just have a couple questions. That's it. Just, and he's yelling at me in this belligerent, violent manner. See, I that's mean, your opinion. That's not I, mine. Okay. That's not his. So that's, that's where we're at right now. Okay, so I can just make sure I can get a different judge because this guy really... Not a problem. As long as your address is correct, then yeah. we'll schedule it for about three to four weeks and we'll do it another night. 
other than the civil suit. Okay, so I, am I not going to get to be no warrant on the record? There's no warrant. I'm going to get something What's in the mail. What's your name? Is it Jasper or Zoom? Okay, what is your name, sir? Officer. Officer. Yes. Okay, well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you. Have a good day. Take Thank care, you. Guys. Take care. Have a good night. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com.